What happens when you combine Pepe with Pokemon? You get Pepemon Go. Pepemon Go is an NFT series based on the Ethereum blockchain and as usual I will be including links down in the description below so if you want to check out their socials, get involved with their community space or be able to learn more, you'll have the ability to do so. So let's start with their Twitter page. This is at Pepemon Global and they describe themselves as a new generation Pepe focusing on Pokemon. With our game release coming soon and NFTs of our Pepemon. And if we hop over to their website, pepemongo.com, we just played through that video that's based on their website here. And a couple details I want to share with you guys, some highlights here. They have a KYC and an audit. There's a 5% affiliate pool bonus, which you'll be using an affiliate link. Has the ability to stand alone as a separate high quality project, despite what Pepe does. Although the benefits from that exposure of the name are on all the socials and then you get the strong blend of a meme as well as utility you're also looking at AR and VR technology plus these NFT eggs familiar and easy gameplay you can mint NFTs very soon contribute in the pre-sale to earn free mints and if you want to be able to do these NFTs simply take a look on the very top of their website page here they have this mint nft tab that's going to redirect you over to this page of which you'll notice that they have a total supply of 1000 and the price says buy pre-sale for the free mint you'll connect your wallet via here it also has the redirecting link over to pink sale and then you have 0.1 ethereum gets you one free whitelist mint uh, mint 0.5 Ethereum gets you six free whitelist mints. One Ethereum gets you 12 free whitelist mints. And then the hatching itself, they're aiming for that to be on July 1st, which is right around the corner, right? It's just about to happen. Okay, additional details. There is an early investor bonus. So the first 20 Ethereum contributed receives a huge bonus in tokens. You're looking at 50%. And the NFT Pepemon egg minting is live. I, I want to stress that part. It is live. And every contribution above 0.1 Ethereum earns the investor a free mint with more bonuses outlined on the page itself. This is what you'll, you should see when you first load up their website. And it says first 20 Ethereum gets 50% bonus, additional purchases over $2,000. Have a chance to win a legendary Pepemon. It says note rewards will be distributed 24 hours after trading begins. Selling any portion of your investment disqualifies you from the presale bonus airdrop. And then the link to be able to join the presale. And so let's go ahead and hop down here a little bit. You can see a preview of what the game looks like. Pepemon Go, the game revolves around hunting and collecting Pepemons utilizing new AR and VR technology and AR algorithms for egg hatching, we have created one of the top tier games of 2023. You can obtain egg NFTs and be able to grow and evolve into a bigger and deadlier Pepemon. Fight alongside friends in a journey never seen before. More fights you win, the more Pepe Go tokens you make. Sign up, make friends, collect Pepemons, upgrade them, battle with them, and more shows token integration it's a key use case as they provide you with so many benefits throughout the game's ecosystem providing you with many benefits and special access take part in the universe of pepe mons and what you can unlock as a pepe go holder so take part in the pepe mon go ecosystem where you can unlock the following this is exclusive inventory space PVP battle zones, tradable achievement badges, 
the more Pepemon Go tokens you hold, the better the trainer you become. So you have Apprentice, hold $500 worth of Pepemon Go tokens. You have Trainer, holding $2,000 worth of Pepemon Go tokens. And then you also have Master, hold $10,000 worth of Pepemon Go tokens. And so these values are based on the pre-sale prices. Very important, it's based on pre-sale prices. Evolve and power up using your Pepe Mon Go tokens. As you increase and grow your Pepe Mons, you can evolve them and power them up using Pepe Go tokens and Pepe Candies. With each Pepe Mon having a base damage, increasing these values help you level up and gain more Pepe Go tokens when you defeat higher level Pepe Mons. This is an ecosystem that strives on those who are trainers and masters alike. Higher the tier, the more valuable your play to earn aspect comes into fruition. Pepemon candies can be found while fighting Pepe gyms, trainers, PvP battlegrounds, but are very rare and expensive. So you got friends, multiplayer, and PvP. Play with friends online. Trade your Pepemon Go tokens, NFTs. Fight them in PvP battles. Take part in the adventure. Join them to catch and fight the difficulties of this world of AR and VR with the use of friendship. Pepemon Go is a mobile massive online game utilizing mechanics new to the scene. So you get terrain and location. Utilizing the terrain is very crucial as to which Pepemons you may find. From heat in the desert to ice and wintry chill areas, you can get any type of Pepemon you can desire if you have the skills and powers to defeat them. Find them in mountains like a Pepe Mander would be, or find them near a river where a Pepe Carp would be hiding. So then you get the eggs and hatching element. Utilize the ability to mint eggs. Who knows what rare, one-of-a-kind Pepemon is inside? What if you get a legendary Pepemon? The higher tier of tokens held will make you have a higher chance of getting a better Pepemon to hatch. You must be a master for a chance to get a legendary. You must also have a massive amount of candies. This is not an easy task as these candies are hard to find. Eggs can be one of the best ways to get the best Pepemons to ever exist. Are you lucky enough to hatch the right one? And in regards to the virtual reality and augmented reality here, they say with many games utilized in VR and AR, Pepemon is on the peak of technological advances by working on developing a VR-associated game with the help of Unreal Engine. With our game primarily set in AR, overlapping existing geography, utilizing VR will push our awareness and game likability tremendously. So some examples of the Pepemon NFTs that can be seen here says that their NFT release will be done post-launch and in batches. Each batch will have a unique set of Pepemon that will have different characteristics, unique attribute styles, and powers. The greater you develop your NFT in game, the more it'll be worth. Get them soon. If you're a second too late, you will miss the drop. And then as far as for their roadmap goes, stage one, you're looking at the website launch, telegram launch, medium launch, Reddit launch, white paper release, stage two, you got their crypto marketing campaign, community engagement campaign, contract creation and testing, staking development and testing, contract deployment, contract verification, audit confirmation, and KYC confirmation. Stage three, you have the launch, NFT release one, game release, Dex tools information updated, list of coin market cap, coin gecko, 500 plus holders, 1 million market cap, YouTube campaign, Twitter campaign, DAO creation and development, and then stage four, 1,000 plus holders, Exceeding 1,000 holders, see? NFT release two, crypto marketing agency partnerships, crypto expo partnerships, crypto influencer partnerships, community voted utility released, NFT staking released, exchange listing Hotbit, exchange listing Bitmart, exchange listing with gate.io. So there we go, guys. There is your introduction to Pepemon Go. I personally love the fact that they're working to have a game that's supported not just with the AR, uh, but also with the VR elements. So that's not something that's very common in the gaming space. It's very much tend to be geared towards one or the other. So they're bringing that element here, plus the egg hatching element that adds a level of fun to this as well. Uh, I am a fan of Pokemon. I know it's kind of stereotypical, but I think Pikachu is my favorite Pokemon. Besides Pikachu, I'd probably go with, uh, I think Lucario would probably be my second. Love to know your guys' favorite Pokemon. Tell me down in the comments below. Tell me what you guys think about this project as well. If you do enjoy this, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, like button, 
click also that subscribe button if you're new and also feel free to help share this on social media i'm on twitter at crypto atlas yt i post these kinds of video links on there and if other people might be interested you want to help get that word out there feel free to do so i appreciate you guys so much and guys i hope you have a great day god bless we'll see you in the next episode